RE4 remake hype is getting stronger every day. With only about 37 days left until release, there is a lot that this game has to live up to. So Game Informer just released an 80 question interview with two Capcom developers. And the interview is pretty awkward, but they did that intentionally. Can they now explode from other places? I get it. But we did get some new confirmed info about the game. Most of it was pretty predictable, but there's actually a lot of small details that might catch your attention. So let's break down the important details and go over the juicy stuff. If you're excited for the RE4 remake, then be sure to leave a like on the video. All right, so to kick things off, the interviewer asked if there would be any stalker enemies in the remake. The big question that a lot of us are wondering, is Dr. Salvador gonna be a stalker enemy, Batora's Mendes. Will it have a persistent enemy like Mr. X or Lady Dimitrescu? The small price to pay for salvation. I've been scrolling on Twitter and I've seen a lot of comments about people saying, wow, Capcom is spoiling the entire remake before it even releases. If you think that the entire game is being spoiled, you're crazy. Dust Golem even said himself, even though he's not a developer, but he is speaking facts here. Capcom has not showed much of the remake. It seems like we've seen a lot because we don't have the game yet, but this is only a small percentage of the remake that we've seen so far. There is a ton in this game that we have yet to see. There's a ton of enemies enemies, locations. So for those that are wondering, oh, why is Capcom spoiling the entire game? Trust me, we're only seeing like five to 10% of the game. And a big question that I've been seeing in my comment section lately is where is the laser sight? In the original RE4, we had a laser sight on most of our guns. And if you take a look in the remake, there's no laser sight. But for those that are wondering, yes, the laser sight is in the remake. It's one of the most iconic things in the original game. Even though it's such a small detail, it's pretty important in the original. You're goddamn right. And people are also wondering if the snakes in the boxes are going to make a return. And Capcom has confirmed that yes, they are also in the remake. So that's good. But there's one thing that's not returning and it wasn't in the original. One of the most popular cut things from Resident Evil 4 that wasn't in the final game was the Hookman. We all know about the Hookman. It was a enemy that was in the beta version of RE4. It was like this ghost-like enemy with a big hook. And there's been a lot of speculation, especially in the leaks if you guys have been watching my leak videos you would know that a lot of people are talking about the hook man making a return will the hook man make an appearance in this game no <laughs> and either capcom is a lying right here or the hook man is simply not in the remake this is unfortunate because i really wanted to see the hook man in the remake maybe it's still in the game maybe capcom is blatantly lying to us who knows but yeah if he's not in the remake then that's kind of a bummer but what's weird is capcom confirmed a little thing that you might have missed there's been some weird speculation that the chainsaw man dr Dr. Salvador, there's only one version of him. And like throughout the game, he's going to evolve and mutate the more you like fight him. But Capcom said in this interview how there's actually multiple Dr. Salvadors. So it looks like our theory is incorrect. There's going to be multiple Dr. Salvadors just like there were in the original, which I guess is okay. Get back here! Also, Capcom did say that there aren't any new enemies in the game, even though we literally saw this dude, the dude with the cow head and the hammer. That's why I feel like Capcom is low-key lying to us, which I'm okay with. I mean, hey, the less I know, the better. Even though I'm talking about this game and I'm willing to watch any new snippets of gameplay, I really don't want to know everything about this remake. I want to be surprised as much as possible. So if Capcom is lying to me, hey, Capcom, no hard feelings, but I do want to see what the regenerators look like. They did talk about some obvious things, which, oh my God, thank God. Capcom eases our emotions and they do confirm that Ashley is not as annoying as she was in the original. I still have nightmares about that to this day. Leon! Another interesting bit of information that I've seen almost nobody talk about, which I don't know why, like I, I made such a big deal out of this. There have been rumors that Krauser isn't in the remake, but then it has been confirmed by sources that he is in the remake. Apparently Krauser is going to appear in a flashback sequence in the intro, but Capcom also confirms right here officially that Krauser is in the game. Just like the original, he is in the game, like fully in the game. But a small detail that they say right here 
here is there is more action this time and Krauser is more powered up. I have no idea what that means. The developers talk about knife fights in the game, so I'm wondering if we're actually going to have a knife fight with Krauser. I know the quick time event sequence in the original is extremely iconic and a lot of people want to see that return. I'm totally okay with that knife sequence being cut. Just let me fight Krauser in actual gameplay with a knife. But one thing I'm not excited for is Capcom says that the RE4 remake is not going to be on all platforms. So is the game not coming to Xbox One? So for those that are still confused, it's going to be on Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, and on the PlayStation 4, but we still have no mention of the Xbox One. This is a big bummer, even though I'm going to be playing this game on PC and I will be streaming the first few hours when this game does come out. It's kind of a bummer that this game is not coming to certain platforms or at least the Xbox One. Now, if you're bummed out about that, I do have some good news about something else. So when the remake was first announced, we got this screenshot right here. Now I'm going to blur it out just because in case I get demonetized, you know how YouTube is. The dog is in the bear trap, but the dog isn't you know, he's not breathing. As we all know, in the original game, the dog helps out Leon in the El Gigante boss fight. And then we got this image from the remake and everyone was like, why Capcom? Why would you do this to the dog? But Capcom has confirmed a few times now that this dog in the bear trap is not the same dog from the original. And even though the dog in the original doesn't bite the dust, um, Mike does. Yeah, y'all remember Mike? Tactical nuke incoming! Ooh. But in in this interview, Capcom has confirmed that Mike is in the game, but this time he is making a few more appearances, which is good because Mike's a real one. I mean, he helps out Leon at the end of, you know, the original, so it's good to see that he's making a return. <laughs> The game will also have multiple control schemes and Capcom does state that one of the control schemes is going to be very similar to the original. I don't know what that means. I guess maybe like you can make it to where the game kind of controls like the original. For those of you that liked how the original Resident Evil 4 controls, I am one of those people. I get a lot of modern fans don't really like the way RE4 controls, but personally, I was okay with it. I'm not going to get into it right now, but just know I am a big fan of the original RE4 controls. But I also like the remake style, so I'm excited to see how they mix the two together. And let me be the first to state the obvious. Yes, the island is returning. I think we all knew this. I covered this in a recent video, but the island is making a return. But Capcom does say that they didn't really change anything. It just sounds like they kind of just remade the island, if that makes sense. I can't really say too much about it because, I mean, other than leaks, which aren't official, um, we haven't really seen anything from the island. I think this screenshot right here takes place on the island. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like it's going to take place on the island. But in terms of the island itself and the labs and the regenerators and Krauser, we haven't really seen much. This interview was so awkward, but it's kind of funny. What are you buying? Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts down below.